Am I allowed to cuss on this channel? Okay. Bro, holy shit. It's crazy. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted something like this. Y'all snapped. Y'all did so good. Hey, what's going on, guys? Watching with Custom Offsets. Today, joining me is Brenton, aka Fanatic. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Brenton. I upload uh, YouTube videos. I'm 18, and I also conveniently own a truck, which is a good thing to have. Yeah, what do you got? You got a. I got a 2015 Toyota Tundra. It's my second 2015, and I've also had a 2007. I, I like Tundras, so. <laughs> All right, so in today's video, we are gonna be covering some of the best first trucks that you guys uh, could possibly buy if you guys are just getting out of high school, yep. you know, like Brenton, or anything like that, you're just looking to get in the truck scene. Obviously, we have done a list like this. It's covered like the top five of the big main ones. This is gonna be kind of a bonus round with some, I already see the first one. Oh, oh yeah. A little questionable. <laughs> uh, but there's gonna be some bonus ones in here that you guys may not think about that could also potentially classify as a truck or maybe even a car. Like, <laughs> or maybe even a car. <laughs> if you guys uh, want to start your guys' build, you guys can find everything you could ever possibly need for your truck uh, or car truck at customassets.com. Let's hop to it. Alrighty, so first up, 06 to 14 Honda Ridgeline. It's bad because I don't mean to offend any Honda Ridgeline owners out there, but I did laugh before yeah. we started this video yeah. when I looked at this. Personally, I'd classify it as a car. It's not your typical like V8 or diesel. Obviously there's nice V6 <sighs> you know, trucks out there as well, but yeah. like, it just, it's, it's so far on the, on the low spectrum of a truck. But if you're looking for a vehicle, a vehicle. that has a bed that you, you want to say you have a truck that yeah. you bought within five and $10,000, yeah. then technically, theoretically, you could go with a Honda Ridgeline. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to though. Yeah. No one is forcing you to make that decision. <laughs> Three, five liter and it's re reliable as a Civic because well, Honda, five okay. to 10 K. So, I mean, that's, that's not bad, that, especially in high school. So here is a modified. Okay, that doesn't look that bad. No, it doesn't Modified. Look bad. Yeah. 2013 Honda Ridgeline uh, running Enkis. Car wheel. Car with. Let's just, oh, that's let's a good just, point. Let's just get that out of the way real quick. All right, uh, in the XM6 is 20 by eight and a half plus 40. Plus 40? Pl plus also, 40. like a car offset. Anyways, <laughs> plus uh, 40. Little Ridge Grappler though, 265. That's a truck I'm car. a fan of those, yep, I'm, I'm yep. not gonna lie. And then a leveling kit. It's even got a tonneau cover. It does. That's what makes this such a great topic to talk about because they're so <laughs> different. Yeah, they're very different. Yeah. So many car-like features. Yeah, car-like features, but I do <laughs> like, I think just alone with the leveling kit and the, the beefy tires, you start to get truck vibes. I feel okay, like the yeah, high school kids It's getting pass. better. Maybe if you did, if you had an offset on there, yeah. it might be kind of cooler. Yeah. With the price and how reliable it is, it's definitely an option for high school kids. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You can toss, you know, wood for a bonfire in the back, you know, yeah. whatever. You, you go to your high school football game, you can toss your gear in the back, whatever it may be. It's not a bad option. But we got better options. Okay. Got better <laughs> All right, second gen Ranger. What are your thoughts on the second gen Ranger? Okay, so, I mean the second gen Ranger. Old school. It's old school. That's Everybody the thing. loves them. I, I think I think they become a meme recently, yeah. especially on like TikTok and stuff like that. I know that truck. That's a four Ranger. And uh, you can beat you can beat the crap out of them. So just to be funny, I would probably buy that car as a high school kid. Yeah. Like yeah. I'd be that kid, not to buy like you know there's a really badass lifted truck. I would probably go with more of a second gen Ranger to be honest with yeah. you. And I would probably try and modify it just to be, to make it even more funny. Yeah. But uh, I mean, aren't they really, really reliable? Yeah, super That's reliable. What so we ended up having, I don't know if you know who Dude Lovejoy is, but we've we've interviewed him and uh, his now wife uh, on our channel down in Daytona. They do a ton of crazy one-off builds, but he actually has like a Ford Ranger, I believe it is a second gen, that he beats the piss out of. And it's like, it's a manual. He'll like straight up like neutral drop. He'll do everything. He'll jump it. I mean, He'll stack like a ton of scrap. It like, says right here, never stop running. It, yeah. it just doesn't stop yeah. running. So yeah. that is a perk. That is a major perk, yeah. especially if you're a high school kid, because you're probably gonna do some pretty stupid things with your truck. Yeah. I mean, I did when I was in high school. Yeah. So it's under 5K. Yep. That's not bad. Yeah. Damn near half the price of the Honda Ridgeline. Obviously, it's 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 a bit older than the Honda Ridgeline, but you know, it's it's a more affordable, way smaller F-150. But yeah. it's got the three liter V6. You know, you can't go wrong with that. No. You're gonna get good gas mileage. 
See? It, wow. It, 1994, it looks like that. Yeah. 100% I drive that around. Yeah. I'm a I'm a full blown fucking adult. Uh, yeah. Buy this thing. That's what I'm saying. Hell. Like that's so dope. Yeah. In the interior, like that's so cool. Yeah, this man's definitely in high school. Hell yeah. A lot of these kids want these show trucks. I mean, you can make a Ford Ranger a show truck if you really wanted to. That one was pretty sick. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Next up on our list, 2000 to 2006 Tundra. Take it away. I'll go with this 100%. Now, it says in between 5 and 10K here. So, I mean, it's a pretty good price point, same as the Honda Ridgeline. But I drove my first 07 Tundra to about half a million miles. Damn. Never had an issue. How'd no. you put that many miles? No. Where do you I, bu I bought it at 300,000. And oh. then, uh, I mean, I drive almost 100,000 miles a year. Really? Yeah. Like yeah, while you were in high school? Yeah. Why? Uh, so, where? I mean, we just drove here 15 hours the other day. Before we drove here, we drove to Minnesota, and then we just drove to Florida last month. We drive like crazy. So while you were in high school, you were doing like collabs and stuff? Yeah, no, I was gone all the time. So I was just time. about every, I was always in my truck. Yeah. But uh, I mean, I tore that thing to pieces and it still was running. The only reason I totaled it was because I barrel rolled off the side of the road. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, it was pretty brutal. They took me to the hospital in an ambulance. They thought I was paralyzed, but I'm good. So see, <laughs> very safe vehicles. If you guys end up rolling it while you're in high school. It, ro home. it rolled pretty well. I didn't actually get paralyzed. Yeah. I'm still good. Yeah, yeah. see, definitely but, uh, need to pick up a Tundra. Yeah. All right. So you're thinking you could probably get the 2002-2006, probably even cheap, probably around like $5,000. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mark. You could probably get it as low as that for sure. Damn. Yeah. And that's like full size. Like this is the first full size truck we've seen. Yeah, size. exactly. That's crazy. Next <laughs> up on the list, Cadillac EXT. So the Cadillac EXT essentially is the truck version of the Escalade. It's the truck version uh, so, of the Escalade. Yeah, so it's the EXT, but they, also, they had like a, like an extended version, and then they had like the extended version with uh, with the pickup. But you can get the Escalade, and then you can also get the longer like Suburban Escalade, yeah. and then there's even like the EXT, uh, and this is the 2002, so. I don't like it. Why, dude? It's like a, it's like a Chevy Avalanche. It looks, I just don't like the fact that it's a Cadillac. <laughs> Why, is it creeping you out or what? I, I think it is. I don't, I've never seen one of these in Dallas. Nope. I haven't seen one of these drive around. No high rollers in, in, uh, in Dallas? Nope, not, the not one of those, nope. What? All right, not. this one's uh, rocking some Otomel MO 970s and a 20 by 12, negative 44. Iron Man all country MTs and a 35, 12 and a half in race car dynamic uh, suspension up to six inches. So this is a six inch I mean, lift. Yeah. See, luxury Escalade with the bells and whistles. It makes 345 horsepower. That's not, that's not bad. I would probably put this on like the same level as the Honda Ridgeline. There's no way you would rate this the same as the Honda Ridgeline. Yep. I'd probably keep it right there. <laughs> but, a little bit, but a little bit better, right? No, maybe the Honda Ridgeline would be a little what? bit, <laughs> a little no bit better. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I don't... I'm not believing <laughs> that. 04 Silverado, full size, light duty, 5.3 V8, easy to find, and you get about not a lot of miles per gallon. You got a lot of smiles for young, though, right? Yeah, yeah I can see most. I can see most high school kids going with this truck. Out of yeah, the list. so obviously, it's common. obviously up here, obviously we're from different ends of the country. Um, I'm but, down south. Yeah. you guys are yeah. in Wisconsin. Yeah, so <laughs> up by us, uh, you know, she older Chevys are are the norm for for your high school guys. The K1500, yeah. the early 2000s. That's kind of the norm. Though. It's it's pretty similar down south. You see Ford and Chevys mainly. Uh, and then after that, it would probably be Dodge. If you were to tell our viewers the best out of this list, if you're in high school right now, you should be shopping for one of these. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna narrow it down to two. I'm gonna narrow it down to that Ranger and the Tundra. <sighs> I feel like you're biased. That's why I'm trying not to go with the Tundra right now. I really am. I'm trying so hard not to pick that Tundra. But it looks so clean. That it picture so of that good. one looks so good. Yeah, it looks so clean. So I guess it honestly depends. Like if you find a, a really high quality Ranger that's old like that, I'd probably go with that, Yeah. honestly. Because yeah. it's going to be very cheap. Why not? It's cheap and it's so reliable. So is a Tundra, but I mean, then that Ranger is going to be even cheaper. Yeah. So. I'd probably go with the Ranger, but if you can find a Tundra as clean as that for a good price, as that, what was that, 2001 Tundra yeah, I think we looked yeah. at, then I'd probably pick that. I guess it all depends on what you find and what condition it's in, how many miles and all that, but I would I would narrow it down between those two options. Yeah, I think that's a solid pick. I would love to keep the Silver out on there just because I think it is so easy to find as far as like availability. That's but, true. But I think what you're saying, like if I were to send my kid off 
what truck would I want him to be in and not have to worry. I, 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 I feel like that Ranger is not going to break down. It's going to have no yeah, issue. Yeah, exactly. And then, like you said, the Tundra, you could probably get right around 5K. It's cheap. It's also pretty reliable. Toyotas yep. never fail. They look good lifted. Yeah, they look good lifted. And it's also a full size. So those are kind of like That's in a between good smaller and full size. Yeah. Um, let's talk about your trucks now. So let's take a step back. Obviously, Ooh. you're fresh out of high school, yep. uh, making YouTube videos doing stuff with trucks. Let's talk about yeah. your first truck. Uh, obviously you mentioned that you had three Tundras. So what'd you all have done to your first truck? Uh, and then we're gonna move on from that. Okay, so I, uh, on my channel, we do primarily outdoor things. Uh, trucks are always involved though, because we drive so much, just about to do everything, whether it's hauling mini pigs around or you know whatever it may be. So my first Tundra was an 07. It was a two and a half door. It was about $7,000. It came about 300,000 miles on it. It came with stock rims and tires, which I didn't like. The second I changed those out though, it was dope. Damn. And I think I was 16 then. I think the first modification after that I really did was I just went under there with a saw and cut off my muffler. So. That's typical. Yeah, I feel like that's what everybody does. Yep, and uh, straight pipe her. So yeah. she sounded good. Good after that, it's loud. Uh, there was no peace and quiet in that vehicle. I honestly, to this day, wish I kept the muffler on, yeah. but that's okay. Did no. you get the muffler off this one? Yes. Oh, the new one? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the one in there, it's cut off too. <laughs> so. Another muffler cut off. Let's go check out your build. Obviously, Panak <laughs> brought his truck up here all the way from Texas to have us build his truck. Yep. Uh, it's just got a brand new lift kit on it, which was powdered white to match the paint. 37 inch tires, we had 35s. Okay. So we're upgrading. So, all right. We well, got a little bit bigger of an offset too, sure. which I wanted. We don't want to spoil any more. Let's out and see this thing all done up. Let's do it. All right. Am I allowed to cuss on this channel? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my God. Dude, that is a beast. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Oh my God, dude. That's nuts. It's crazy. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted something like this. Y'all snapped, y'all did so good. All right, so now obviously you got the eight inch ready lift. Yep. Uh, you ended up keeping the Icon coils in here. Yep. So you still have the Icon coils, you still have the Icon upper control arms. Uh, you see your uh, fender uh, art in there, yep. uh, protecting the inside instead of the standard uh, flappy rubber stuff mammoth that Toyota guard. comes with. Yeah, the mammoth guard. So that was super cool. Obviously when you came here, you already had a lot done. You had the bumpers, the lighting, everything like that. Uh, so we just kind of refreshing everything up with the white powder coat on the suspension. Made it uh, bigger. Yeah, made it bigger. You also have 22 by 12 uh, Archon off-road Caesars in the black and milled, looks fire. Uh, and then you also have a set of 37 Venom Powers. So those are the Terra Hunter XTs. Uh, nothing but great reviews. We've put these things to the test. I think you're gonna absolutely love these things the whole ride home back to Texas. So past that, I mean, you got some rock lights, which obviously we can't see because it's still daylight, but you'll be able to shine. You'll be able to shine up the road on your way home as well. And uh, nobody, yeah. see the thing is, it's unique because nobody does this to Tundras. This is like the biggest lift we could find, unless you went like bulletproof. And I think this is a super, super good uh, height. Yeah. Uh, especially for what you're trying to do, especially yeah. if you're trying to use your truck, daily your truck. Thank you guys. Yeah, absolutely. Here are your keys. You're good to go. Hey, Appreciate you stopping up at Custom Offsets and uh, getting your truck all done up. That's what we got for you guys on today's video. If you guys need wheels, tire suspension, performance accessories, you guys want to, you know, bring your truck to the next level just like Fnatic did, you guys can find all that at customoffsets.com. We'll see you guys on the next one.